No, but he he does he wants to feel fucking blown away. So he's saying he's pushing his doses further apart further so that apart. he'll hit him harder. It's not only that. I can't af- it's ex- an expensive drug. Uh, it's expensive. Um so uh yeah, no and and you know, I'm retired. I don't have the money for that sort of thing. So we can only buy it and do X amount. Right, so, because you need to eat ounces of right, it for it to work. Precisely. So I, I Gene will, you know, this couldn't go on. Let's put it that way. We were doing it every two weeks. Right. And me taking big, sh- that would have stopped. You so, should like make a business out of this, like trip with Harry, you know, <laughs> and just do it once a month and be like, hey, come trip with me on the beach and we'll oh just God. hang out. I'll tell you what, how to do it. Yeah. Just walk down the street full of love and love everybody you see. Try to talk to people that you see. Be friendly. Have fun. Laugh. This is life. I'll tell you from personal experience that it changes from one second to the next. Yeah, you're giving, me, you're giving me chills right now. Well, it's true. Yeah, it is very one true. One phone call I'm change pr- your whole fucking life. Words from a wise man right now. Yeah. No, right. Yes. You know, that's that's uh, <clears throat> this gentleman. He's elders. known me Listen for your <laughs> elders. All right. <laughs> they know what the fuck they're talking about. How old right, are okay, you, Dad? I refused 67. <laughs> I'm 67. It's, okay. I mean, okay. I feel like I, I like fuck it up all the 67. time. I 67. Yeah, it's a good number. It is. I love this. Yeah. And if you had asked me years ago, you know, would I wind up retired and living in California right. and you're a block insane. and a half from the ocean, mm-hmm. I would have said you're out of your freaking minds because we didn't, I never made any good money. I made shit for money. Yeah. Mom was always the, definitely the breadwinner. She was the nurse. And at the time years ago, I got lucky in the stock market. Yeah. Plus I worked in the worked hard at it now i have to get back there yes, again you, do. you need I've to been out um, of the he market. doesn't trade for me i didn't say that <laughs> teach me your ways but <laughs> it took it took mom divorcing you though for you to get out here and and live this beautiful life you have i think you guys were married to that house like or you were like i'm never leaving the house and i was like get rid of this fucking house like rid of the house. and you get rid of the six bedroom house with a 250 foot attached barn and now you live in something that's <laughs> what like 400 square feet you guys live in a tiny home you know and it's funny too because i know other men who've become obsessed with making their house the perfect retirement place right and they spend their entire you I'm talking about me. I spent my entire youth rebuilding my house to the way I wanted it. I did all the work. I put in a jacuzzi in our bedroom. I put a bathroom in our bedroom. I did. You had a model train room. Yeah, I did. There was a library too. Yeah, and a library. All the bedrooms became new things. Holy basically. shit! After, after everyone moved out, we didn't need six bedrooms. No, I used to. I used to do custom moldings. I'd make them out of clay and make. Um, rubber molds and cast them in plaster and use this as cornice molding around oh. some of the rooms. The house looked well, like a it was Victorian custom doll made. house. On the oh, inside. I got to show you some of my weird. dad's artwork then after this podcast. I would love You'll to love see to it. see it, man. And then we go out to eat while well, we're separated, me and my wife, and she says, I've hired a lawyer <laughs> and we're getting divorced <laughs> and we have to sell the house. Uh, and you're like, what the fuck? No, I wasn't. I was watching her when she said this and I saw the pain it caused her oh. hmm. in her eyes. And I said, I won't give you any trouble at all. And I didn't. We sold that house like in six months. We, this is not an exaggeration, used three and a half full size dumpsters. Yeah. We, I, I, we'd lived in the house for 33 years. I would yeah. col- had had collections oh yeah, of things. I worked out of the barn for yeah. 30 years. I mean, this all went in six months and we didn't have an argument. That's very good. Not one oh, argument. Not and everything one, you no. took with you fit in the van. Well, what little, yeah. What, everything what I, little you kept, I'm saying. Like the rest of the shit either was sold thrown away or just left in the house a great deal of it was thrown away. like a whole lifetime of his whole my whole life all harry was doing was making this house you know pretending to work and then making this house and then you just ditched it all i know it went it was the best thing you could have ever done yeah and i've seen it happen to other people yeah i feel like a lot of other men men are crazy well at least my father worked on his house from the time i was born i helped him see that's how i learned all these trades so that's uh, how I learned too by helping right. Harry. I you could know, redo your kitchen. Actually, my father, he was a sneaky bastard. I don't know how he did this. He used to get other people who knew what they were doing to come in. And I was a helper. Like Bob DeWitt next door was a man who worked with gas. Somehow he talked Bob DeWitt into coming over to the freaking house and putting like 
gas lines in the house right for free you know he and he had he would do this with all electricians and stuff i don't know how he did it he's a hustler yeah yeah but i was the helper so yeah. i learned and then he sold that house and moved when it was done my father all yes all of a sudden one of the guys he was working with retired and died within three months my father said "Fuck this that's it i'm done i'm moving to north carolina where my brother lives this is my father speaking of course not me and and he did and he did he gave the house up he sold my he sold like waterfront property in brooklyn for ridiculous Holy shit. when i was a child we're talking so long ago my father borrowed money from two of his brothers and a friend and bought five, three, and one franc court. In, in, in Garrettson Beach, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. One franc court was under the water. He owned out into the water. Oh my God, like, I wonder, dude, how much money would that be today? Oh, Holy insane. 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 At the time he sold the house, however, he had gotten this thing in his mind. He's selling the house. He sold it to the first people who showed up at a price my sister begged him Give me a week and I will get the money and buy the house and turn the and damn said, thing over. You. And he sold it to these people because he had already said you could have it. Uh -huh. And he sold it for dirt cheap and then went to North Carolina and I was mean, poor. I feel like you guys sold your house for too cheap. Uh, we bought too high and we sold way too cheap yeah. because that's where the market was. Yeah. Plus, Mr. Brilliance here had changed everything in the house so that it was so customized the kitchen took up the size of a fucking house the kitchen's bigger than my it entire was apartment. i had commercial I, cooking holy equipment what he had a he I had, had like a flat top a fry a -liter. a grill i had a char broiler 24 inch char broiler 24 inch grill just like you see over there at, at uh, you had a better sandwich. line than any bar i ever worked in yeah yeah, I had commercial equipment and called why but the, house, but the house was Fuck. also very like it was very like there was like marbling painted hand painted into the chair rails that he put in like 